Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Wokey's Day featuring Zenrot as we talk about. Wait, Wokey. I'm here for this with y'all. This is, this is gonna be news to me. Okay, so today I like going to Burger King. This is obvious. Today I went to Burger King. Uh, it's super hot out in California. It's around, I think it's 80, to, maybe around 80 to 90 degrees today. Uh, yesterday was 100 around this time. So I walk over there. Uh, I walk to Burger King. It's a 10 minute walk. I walk in a big ass bulky uh, black sweater because that's my life. Don't ask me why. Don't question my life decisions now. For the record, when I asked him, he just said that he likes the sweater. Yes, I really like to the wear the sweater in 90 degree weather. That would be uncomfortable even to a person dressed normally. 100%. And also, I'll get into another story because now this is now turning into me walking with my sweater stories. But today, I went to Burger King. I go to Burger King. I get my stuff. I, I got a coupon, so it only costs around six bucks overall for like a pretty good meal. I'm like, okay, fine. I put down my ketchup, and then as I leave, I go to fill up my drink. And as I get close to it, a guy goes over to my ketchup. And he starts taking my ketchup. And I'm right behind him as he's doing this. And I go, he realizes that like, uh, he looks up and he realizes that the person that he was with, which I all assume is his girlfriend or whatever, um, isn't at the seat that he's taking the ketchup. So he looks at the ketchup and he goes, and then he looks at it and then he looks at me and he sees a giant Hispanic man behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so his immediate reaction is, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to take your ketchup. And then I said, I laugh because it's a funny situation because he thought that I think the first thing he says is like he says to his lady friend who is not in the seat that I'm in, isn't this your ketchup? And then it's very clearly <laughs> not. And she's not even sitting at the right table. <laughs> he's at the wrong fucking table. And he says, isn't this your ketchup? And then he says me, and he looks at me, and he goes like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not trying to take your ketchup. You know what I'm saying? And I go, oh, haha, ha, very funny. It's very good. Uh, you know, it's all good, bro. You know, I try and defuse a situation. Because people usually are scared when they see someone of my size and my race. <laughs> so I try and ah. ca calm them down and be like, it's all good, man. All the preconceived notions you have are wrong. <laughs> Let me just start with that. And that way we can be building toward a better future together. Uh, so I go, yeah. And then he get, he goes for the fist pump to make sure that we're cool. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I give him the fist bump and I go, we cool, bro. We cool. And we're laughing back. He's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not trying to, this is verbatim how he transitioned into this. He goes, oh, you know what I'm saying, bro. You know, I ain't trying to steal your ketchup and you're trying to go like, oh man, what the hell is this old man doing here? And I go, ha ha ha, you're right. And then he goes like, you know, if you were what, you were white, you know, you're probably going to kill me somewhere down the line. And I go, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a serial killer and I'm not white, so I'm not going to kill you, bro. And <laughs> at this point, I'm just trying to be like, I don't know how this got this way. But then he starts going into like, he goes, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to get, you know, I'm a political guy by nature. He's also an older gentleman. I'll say he's maybe around in his 50s or so. Um, a little late middle aged. A little late in middle aged. He had some gray on him. He goes, sorry, I didn't mean to get, you know, so political on you, bro. But I'm a political kind of guy. You know, I speak out my mind. I'm like, oh, you know, it's all good. And then he leans in close to me. But you know what I'm saying, man? These white serial killers be out here and they ain't getting no short shrift. And I'm like, ain't getting no what? Ain't getting no short shrift, which is basically means they're not getting any shit for what they do. And then he starts going like, you know, they he's always... saying. So he's saying uh, the the white serial killers are being accepted. Yes, he basically, because then he starts getting into like, which is true, what they say. You know what I'm saying? Like every time they go out there, they try and be like. And, you know, all these white serial killers who be out there are the ones who, and again, I'm just quoting what he says, had no friends and couldn't get no pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was really trying to vibe with you, bro. He was vibing with me and I was like, all right, let's keep going. I like how he saw uh, a Hispanic man and his immediate reaction was <laughs> white people though, right? Yeah. I want to say he's also a little bit, he was a little bit darker in color. Not as the, not my shade of color, but a shade. I could be. I could confuse him for a very tan, tan white man, given the situation. It's hard to tell, like a Greek person or something. I couldn't 100% tell. Um, but Mediterranean. Any, 
maybe he could be he was something he's you know mm -hmm. i couldn't 100 percent vibe on what race he was when he was telling me this i will say that the lady friend he was with was asian and also she did not pay any attention to what he was saying <laughs> he did not pay any attention to me <laughs> So at this point, I go back because my food's ready. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go get my food, bro. You know, nice talk to you. I come back to my seat. He's sitting right in front of me, and he's still talking to me when I'm getting my food. <laughs> so I get my food, come back. He keeps talking to me about serial killers. I think that was his subtle way of telling you that he was a serial killer. Maybe so. But he also then started talking about... I think situations where he had to, to confess to someone. Maybe. And now that he told you, his conscience is clear and he can go out and serial kill more. Yeah, I think he was just trying to, you know, you know, bullshit with me, you know, talk to me. Maybe he saw there was a youth actually listening to him. So he's like, I'm going to try and impart my knowledge to this man. Tell him what it is. And then he started telling to me about how there's racial injustice. About how, you know what I'm saying? Maybe OJ <laughs> didn't do it. Is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you know what on serial killers, bro. Yeah, he was talking about serial killers. He talked about the Rodney King beatings. And then at this point, uh, so just to give people an understanding about my upbringing, I was raised to be respectful to elders. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they're saying to me. <laughs> so for the most part, I'm being as nice as I can be because I don't want to start any shit in this Burger King. He obviously apologized for the ketchup incident. So that lets me know that he's not a horrible person. <laughs> Probably just a person who likes to talk. So at this point, he then starts talking to me about the OJ case. And then at this point, he, so he's talking about the OJ case. He's talking about institutionalized gang violence in the prisons, where gangs are actually stronger in prisons, uh, which is true. And then this is where he makes the best reference ever, where he goes, did you ever see American me? <laughs> now, if you know me, I quote American me all the time. And I wasn't about to tell this man I quote that part where he stabs the guy and goes, don't look at me, puppet. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> so I told him the truth, which is, no, I had not seen American Me, even though I like to quote it and I understand. <laughs> the truth. Yeah. So I told him the truth. So he goes like, oh, it's okay. It was probably before your time, but you should totally check out American Me. And he's right. I should check out American Me. It's a very good, well, <laughs> very good movie. Uh, then he starts talking to me a little bit about Trump, talking about how Trump... <laughs> Probably that Russia probably has him banging some uh, 13 year old or something. And that's why he can't ever be hard on Russia. <laughs> and I think I'll finally, figure it out, man. Yeah, he's figuring it out. I also want to say at this point, I'm now eating my food. <laughs> I'm eating my food and watching this guy talk to me. And he's talking to me for so long that the lady friend that he's with, he looks at what uh, he's also starting to eat as well. I also realize he's doing something weird with his burger. He took the bun off, but only the top bun, and then he ate the rest of the burger. And <laughs> oh, did he cut it up or did he just bite it? No, he just removed the top of the burger bun and then ate the rest. He didn't remove the bottom part. He wasn't like trying to save on like no. Carbs. Well, yeah, but like how? How? Well, well the condiments didn't... stay on if you don't have a top bun. Yeah, so I don't know how the fuck. I think he, you know what? Now that I l remember the burger, I think he positioned all the condiments so that it stayed perfectly in the middle. So he repositioned the condiments of his burger. What is this story? Yeah, again, this is a very weird. What man. kind of individual is this? It's, it's a very strange individual. <laughs> So, um, at this point, I think he's finally winding down. He's going on about Trump, saying he's probably going to win. And then the day he does lose, he also told me, uh, this is where he finally reels to me that I'm from the Deep South. He says, I was not originally from California. And he says that, uh, so he, he grew up where there was a lot of racist dudes around him. And he knew for a fact that there was always racist in America. Because he grew up where they were still hiding somewhere. So it didn't surprise him that when Trump rose up that uh, other people followed with him. And then I think he said that there was going to be violence when Trump leaves office. Because either what's going to happen is that I think uh, people of our specific race, uh, Hispanic and also African Americans and other like immigrants types, uh, due to gentrification, are going to fight back and start taking back our rightful place. I don't remember... <laughs> 
<laughs> that is not the kind of violence I thought he was talking about. I don't think he was talking about violence. He's, he, he's afraid there's going to be violence because he feels that gentrification and people are don't have homes anymore. So there's no homes for the go to because all the white people took the homes, which is what gentrification in theory is about. Uh, he says right. eventually what's going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of uh, people like us with no homes, but then <laughs> they're just going to see that their old homes are currently being occupied by someone else, and that's going to cause riots in the streets. And I said, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, huh? interesting. <laughs> and as I try to eat my fucking burger, because I'm also really fucking tired from walking. And finally, I think at this point, the reason he stops talking to me is that he realizes that his lady friend had already finished his food. And he looked to her and he was like, oh, are you done? I was going to have a little bite of what you had. <laughs> and then from that point... <laughs> From that point on, he, sw <laughs> he switches to his lady friend. That's the best part of the story. He he's, just, like, he's upset that his girlfriend finished her food because he wanted it. He wanted a little bit of it. And finally, I'm, <laughs> I'm free from the combo. I keep feeling that at any point he's going to start. He doesn't. And then finally, I walk home from Burger King. And that's why. And then we come down and record. And that is uh, a day in the life of Wookie. Right so it was one of those weird conversations where he didn't even say like goodbye he just left he just stopped talking to me that's the <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah fuck me yeah so there you go that the, that is uh, that's what happens to me and that is for all intents and purposes that is wokey story time <laughs> for today <laughs> Uh, fuck me join us next time as i talk about my trip to the lacma and how i walked one hour in the blazing hot sun <laughs> to a burger king in my sweater <laughs> oh god all right everyone thank you for listening if you watch this i don't know who the fuck watched this but <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it glad this is going up <laughs> uh 100 100 goodbye everyone